Hi there, my name's Paul and this is Jade, our uh, Bouvier. She's 13 years old and doing quite well now. And um, we came across Milana because we were kind of wondering about Jade. She would go outside, she used to run outside and be carefree and all that, but she would stick near the door, lie down, she was pensive and she would uh, whine a lot. She'd go outside and she'd just kind of lie by the door and whine and whine and of course we're always thinking, you know, what's wrong with you? You know, come on, you're not the being yourself. And this went on for a while. We took her to the vet. The vet said, no, she's healthy, everything's fine, she's getting older. Um, took her to a chiropractic dog or animal chiropractor. They adjusted her, said she's doing fine, but she continued to whine all the time in the house, out of the house, but especially outside. She'd go out and just lie by the door, close. And it's like, why wouldn't she wander? We've got nice property and all that. And my wife Mary said, you know what? I know of this woman, Milana. She said she's an animal empath. And I said, let's give it a shot. Let's. So all we told Milana on the phone was, we have a dog, her name's Jade. That was it, not the breed, her age, anything like that. And Milana said, well, I'll come out on whatever day it was. And we kept Jade outside when Milana came in. And Milana came and said, well, I've been kind of talking to Jade here on the way. And we thought that was interesting. She said, yeah, she made contact and we're talking. She said, she's a big dog. She's older. She's got bad hips. Her hips really bother her. And again, this is without knowing the dog at all uh, previously. And Milana nailed Jade just as if she'd known her for years. She said, you know, talked about the hips being bad. She said she's got, you know, I dare say, you know, dysplasia and it's really bad. And it's like she's been like that since, you know, small. And she said, but now that she's older, she said, um, oh, and the other thing that Jade would do is she barks a lot. Usually the Bouvier is very quiet, but Jade would bark, 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 and pierce your ears, and be outside, and she'd um, want to come in. Usually bounces right up onto the deck and onto the deck and inside. But she would stand off and whimper, and it's like you'd stand at the door going, "Come in! What are you doing? Come in!" You know, we couldn't figure it out. We're getting impatient with her and all that. Well, Milana, when she came in, said she's older, and she said, "You realize she's hard of hearing." Something we never even thought of. It's like, really? And we did a little test later, but uh, I'll tell you about that. And she said when she goes outside, she can hear the coyotes and the wildlife and all that and realizes she's older and she can't protect the family anymore. So she said what she does is she sticks close to the house for safety. And instead of wandering all the way out there, she knows she's older and she's, she could be the prey now as opposed to the big protector. And she said, and the reason we'd have the windows open, she, we'd hear out there whining. And she said the reason is she could hear the high pitch of the coyotes, you know, way off, quarter of a mile, half mile away, and realize she can't protect the family anymore, so it bothers her, so she would whine. And coming in, she said the shoulder is bothering her, and it's something the vet didn't pick up, or the chiropractor. And she said, this will continue to bother her, the shoulder. So now when you look at Jade through this more critical eye with the understanding that Milana had, gave us, we can see that, and as Milana told us, she would look at the deck and think, oh, I got to make it all the way up there. So she would let out a sigh or a whine. And us at the door going, come in, come in, come in, what are you doing? What are you waiting for? We're impatient, but now we're realizing she's looking at it like this is going to be a bit of an ordeal coming up. And when we started looking at her walking, we realized she dragged her paw a little bit. We took her back to the chiropractor who said, you know what, it's something I didn't see. But she said the muscle has gone here. So instead of walking normal like this, she kind of lifts the leg up and plops it down. Something we never really noticed because it's so subtle. And with this understanding, it's like a family member, you think, why are they impatient? Why are they talking loud? Why are they doing this or that? When you realize mentally or physically what is ailing them, you can be a little more empathetic with them and you can understand it. So now when Jade stands outside and whimpers, when we have the door open and we're waiting for her to come in, she's building up for the physical, you know, to get up onto the deck. She knows it's going to be painful to jump onto the deck, things like that. So now we look at her through different eyes, which is really, really 
pretty special. So instead of getting the impatience, as I keep saying, it's I feel bad saying it like we were, but we can look at her now and think, you know what, she's, she's older. And the barking was the other thing. Why she barks so loud? Hard of hearing. <laughs> she's trying to hear herself bark and we're thinking, why is she doing this? And we did some tests later after Milana left. We'd say her name at this level, nothing, this level, nothing, this level. She'd kind of look around, this level, and then she'd look over at you and it's like, she is, she's hard of hearing, never thought of it, you know, and that answered a lot of her habits that were happening around the house. And anyway, thank goodness for Milana. It's like she just, she gave us insight into basically what Jade was thinking, so to speak, and dealing with internally that you'd never guess, and that vets and chiropractics missed. And it was really quite special. It was really, I'm really happy that we called her. So she's doing great, yeah. And we look at her so differently now. You know, like when she's outside, you know, it's not like, come on, hurry up and get inside, you know. Yeah. It's, we're thinking, okay, she has to build up for it, you know. And it's something you'd never think of. And it's like, yeah, she's, she's got this uh, kind of mentally prepare for, you know, the ordeal of jumping up on the deck and things like that. Yeah. And when you look at it that way, it's like, it would have never occurred to us at all. I'm so glad you know? that she's, like, she's feeling better. Um, oh, she is, and we are too. It's like, she's... we're not putting like the negative thought out, thinking, come on, hurry up, yeah. get inside, you know, that kind of stuff. You think, oh, take your time, oh. relax. And she, she wants to please, right? So she wanted, yeah. really wanted to please you, and so she yeah. wasn't keeping up. Yeah. And now that you are allowing her that time to do it on her own, and that's she's it. happy. Yeah. That's it. That's the magic of it. It's like, yeah, we are. We're allowing her the time on her own time to do right. things, not on our schedule, which is really good, you know, and it really kind of humbles you a bit to think, okay, you know what, she has her challenges too. Let her go through it like you would any family member, right, you know? For a 13-year-old puppy, she is in a great health. Yeah, Good yeah. She's 13, she's yeah. doing great. Yep. Jade, you're so beautiful. But so that's the biggest thing, I think, is our outlook now. You know, it's just, it takes that negative thought away or that impatience or whatever, you know. it's And it really does. It's, you know. Probably relaxed you a little bit, too. Totally. <laughs> yeah, it relaxes us and it makes us understand what's yeah. going on in behind the scene, you know, yeah. which is really something. Indeed. And it makes it a lot more comfortable for everyone, you know, it's, it's really something. I mean, we love her to death, without question, but, you know, just to sort of yeah. hurry her along, it's like we don't do that anymore. It's like, you know, go at your own pace. I think with, with our lives being so busy, we sometimes don't realize how fast we are going. And, and it's a really good yeah. reminder. Just yeah. you coming in and saying that, it's like, yeah, it's one heck of a reminder mm -hmm. to just say, you know what, smell the roses, mm -hmm. pat the dog, you know. <laughs> Quant quality, not quantity. That's right? it, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And that's what you brought. That's yeah. exactly what you brought was the quality back. You know, we, we have it anyway, but it's like it's a really great reminder. Oh, it really was. You. I'm so glad I could help. Yeah, oh, big time. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Magic.